Welcome to Expedition Bible. My name is Joel Kramer. Today I want to talk about the life cycle of wheat. And this is because Jesus uses this as an analogy for his glorification. So if we can understand the life cycle of wheat, we can understand his analogy better and more fully appreciate what he has done for us. The beginning and end of the life cycle of wheat really happens at harvest time. At harvest time is when the wheat plant truly dies, when it is cut off from its stock. And this term cut off is used in the Bible to describe death. However, if just one seed from this wheat plant that's been cut off is planted, then there's hope. A grain of wheat is the seed of the plant, and what a seed is, is it's a container uh, that holds a tiny little plant, and it's got this outer protective shell. And so when a seed is planted, it can lay dormant until it gets what it needs. It needs warmth, it needs air, and especially it needs water to get to it. And when that water gets to it, then a little miracle happens and it germinates, it sprouts into life and begins to grow. And with enough time, one seed can produce enough plants to fill a field and to bring in an abundant harvest of grain. So this is what Jesus used as an analogy. He says, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. The prophet Daniel in Daniel 9.26 predicted the Messiah would be cut off and have nothing. And that's what happened when Jesus died on the cross. He was cut off from the land of the living. And like a seed planted in the soil, Jesus was laid in the tomb. And he remained dormant for three days until, like a seed, he sprouted back to life. And as a, as a seed sprouts and grows up through the soil, Jesus rose from the dead. And in so doing, he produced many seeds, really starting at Pentecost, 50 days later. What is Pentecost, the Feast of Weeks? It's the wheat harvest. So um, when the ones who believed in Jesus were gathered in the upper room, what was happening agriculturally around Judea was the wheat harvest was being brought in. As the Holy Spirit was poured out on the believers and they became the first fruits of Jesus giving up his life. Uh, then Peter stands up and he preaches to the crowd of Jews that had gathered there out of interest and they were pierced to the heart and it says, and that day there were added about 3,000 souls. And this harvest has been going on from that first Pentecost up until today. So Jesus gave up his life for the purpose of producing many seeds, an abundant harvest. Thank you.